Hi everyone, it's Gail again. I think this is part six of the Christmas Journal series and we are going to work on the outside of each signature to start off with today. Just we're in decorating mode. So um, I've got a few things ready. So this one, I have this vintage greeting card and I think it looks really fun just right like that. So all we're going to do is glue that on. Can't get any easier than that. And um, yeah, and then we'll just, we'll go from there. So I hope you're all enjoying your day. And um, this is the second one of these I filmed today. One day I, I actually filmed three. <laughs> I kind of get on a roll and I just, I just keep powering up my phone and... Um, and recording another one because I, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm putting them on YouTube one, at one a day. But um, if I get on a roll, I kind of just want to keep the creative juices flowing, if you know what I mean. So I am just going to line that up on a line on the paper, which makes it super easy to get it straight. And we're just going to smooth that out. Nothing to do but that, but I love this. This is, it's so vintage and so fun. And it's, um, it's a thin paper and it's just the front here. So is what I had. So I thought that looked, thought that looked cute on that, on that one. <clears throat> so there we go. That gives that a little more personality. Okay, so then this one, <laughs> I actually, without you, I, I put a little stamp here that says, always leave a little room in your holidays for miracles. And um, I went ahead and stamped it off camera because if it didn't work, I didn't want you to hear the word I might say if it didn't work. <laughs> so I just did that off camera. Um, so, but I have the... I have the other pieces ready to go. So this one, you know, on this side, it's, it's pretty, pretty frilly. It's got, you know, swirls and flowers and bows and stuff. So I grabbed out this piece of coffee dyed muslin um, in an effort to kind of, you know, guy it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put this cute little image just like this. That's the plan. So um, I guess first thing we could go ahead and put the, this onto the cardstock. I think I'm just going to use my tape runner because um, then it won't, it won't um, have any bumps or bubbles or anything. So yeah, I'll just do that. And okay. Get that onto this. Great. It's always fun to try and achieve here. So, okay, but I think we did it. Okay, so we're just going to add this piece of coffee dyed paper right on to, to the paper here. about there and then we're going to just add this on and then we'll have that that done we'll still kind of have the backs but those might be pockets or something but I kind of just wanted decoration on the front of each signature because I think this book 
hopefully will be looked at a lot because it's going to have this young man's Christmas pictures in it. So I want it to be fun to look at too. Okay, so hopefully that tones down the frilliness just a bit. Okay, so there is that. Don't forget this little guy. Okay, so I want to work on pockets and tucks. I have lots of ephemera to use, but I want some places for uh, tucks and um, belly bands, you know, pockets, that kind of stuff. So let's pull this out. It's, um, it's a fun little packet that I thought there might be some things we could use for belly bands in here. I like that one. I like that one. That's nice too. Oh, here's Santa though. We might need Santa. I don't want to leave him like that. I want him to be maybe on fabric or something. We'll just have to see what we come up with. So, um, thinking about what fabric I have and what would be good for Santa. That makes my eyes hurt. <laughs> Um, gosh, I wonder if I have any sort of green fabric. That is just kind of a plain greenish. I'm looking, guys. Let's see what we have. Um... Green fabric is not something there's a lot of in my craft room, apparently. <laughs> I want to see if I have somewhere left over of the green that we used on the cover, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe all we have is, maybe all we have is this piece of here. Nope, I you must have used it. Okay. Well, then we should go for paper, shouldn't we? Let's look at our scraps. Here's one with a sleigh. That wouldn't be too bad, would it? Yeah, maybe we do that. Kind of tie in the papers that we've already got. Ooh, that's pretty with that down the middle, isn't it? Hmm, okay. Well, I like those two. This one wouldn't be too bad if I just added a little strip of the striped, would it? Okay, let's get the cutting board. Get the cutting board. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we're going to be eight and a half with this because... That's the size of the papers. So let's do that. Get them cut eight and a half first. Got 
of like that. It's thick, but you know, I mean this way, but I like it. Fun to tuck things in there. Okay, and then this one, eight and a half on it. And that's Santa. This might be interesting to cut. <laughs> Just gonna kind of hold it right there. Okay. And I kind of want it a bit thinner, I think. It's really nice too. I like that a lot. Okay, this guy, let's cut it this way, eight and a half. And then I'll do this and then we'll decide. Okay, so yeah, I think I can go just on the side of this package and stuff. Makes kind of a nice little strip there. Okay. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with the belly band situation. So now we just have to decide where to put them. Well, we can attach the strip. I'm thinking what I might do is just attach it at the top and bottom. It could be a double belly band if they want. And if they don't, that's fine. It'll just lay there like it is. Santa. I like it. I like that one. Okay. And then this one. We're straight. Okay. And this one. I'm trying to decide if I'd like to do a little distressing on the sides. I think I might. Especially like this one. Yeah, I like that. I'm not going to distress this because I don't want to accentuate kind of the lacy edge of this. It's fine if it just kind of blends in. Oh yeah, that's going to finish that off nicely. And the 
this one. Sorry, I'm quiet. <laughs> that's that's one thing about doing more than one um, filming in a day is kind of run out of things to talk about. And so I just start crafting away and you guys are hopefully watching but not, not getting a lot of <laughs> feedback. <laughs> Okay, so let's decide where it is that we would like these to live. You know, I'm kind of already looking at that and this part. I'm thinking I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Nice to it. So we've got little pocket on this side so I do kind of want to stay on this side with it. I don't know you guys I really kind of like it right there in the front with yeah that's pretty okay that's what we'll do then that's what we'll do Again, I kind of have a, a little bit of a line to follow, so that's helpful in getting her straight. Okay, that's cute. I want to put lace right there. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so then this one, let's see where we'd like it. Squirrel. Thinking I might like that on there as just a little tuck. I would. Kind of like that piece when I cut it off, so as well use it. And then that will keep me from wanting to put lace on the edge. <laughs> oh, hard to teach a new dog new or a new dog, <laughs> yeah, an old dog new tricks, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, just gonna stick that on the very edge. Of that piece of paper. Mm 
yeah that's nice and then that's a that's a little tuck but I like how it goes with the pic with the picture okay cool all right so now belly band so we want you Actually really like that so that's the same paper so that's gonna blend in oh, I like that let's do it not to overthink or anything the other thing I want to do is I do want to put a fabric flip in here and I am thinking about using some of these little pieces as fabric ruffles as well so might be doing that okay that's good okay third signature we've got Santa where do we want to put Santa Kind of cute just across from Santa, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm going to put it just right here across from Santa. All right, let's do that. Okay. Just put it right across there. I like that. Let's stick up to there. Okay. Okay. So we did belly bands. Awesome. Now I have this little decoration that's kind of got me inspired. I got this at I don't know where. Uh as a freebie from Etsy or a Happy Mail. I'm not sure which. I really like it, but this little guy doesn't go because he's too modern for this book. I was going to look too and see, yeah, he's too, it's too long too. Unless we were to do it as like a tuck spot and I were to cover that. But I like how it was layered with the doily and with the, looks like a project life, like a holiday project life card maybe. And then just a scrap and then some rickrack. I think it's super cute. So what I'm thinking is I can use my big old punch here and I could punch out some paper that would go there. It's just looking at these because they're the right size. Merry Christmas. But anyway, I was thinking about trying, I was thinking about making a couple more of these, this was my, it's what I'm thinking. So 
Or maybe I don't use that one and I just make my own. Okay, so I've used up all my scraps, basically. Except I do have this left. And this was, um, this is, what is it? Graphic 45 St. Nicholas. But it could work, couldn't it? Okay, let's play. Let's just play. Belly bands and perhaps a tuck on this on this uh, little series. Yeah, I was just kind of inspired by that little piece and thought it would be fun to fun to do. Now these are going to be a little smaller. Could almost be a pocket if I wanted them to be. Actually a little bit piece of paper is a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll just do three right out of it. Okay. So then what we need are, we need three doilies, right? Okay, I think I have three red ones. That would be, would be good. And then we're going to have to find some, a scrap. And I do have some rickrack, so we're good there. That's only one. Just kind of do our own take on this, huh? That little guy might just go in my idea book. Oops. I that again it's open at the top and I keep keep opening it and then it falls through <laughs> okay let's see um okay so some paper that would let's see scraps 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 just kind of digging through what I've got Oh, um, scraps here. Let's see if I can get out my bag of paper scraps here and see what's in there. Boy, I really like to work with pink, don't I? <laughs> can tell that. Well, I've got a couple of Christmas things here that might work. Let's see if those will work. Okay. So I kind of just... I just want to just tear this down this side. There we go. I can 
think that I think I kind of want to tear this this side too. Whoop. Okay. Just ink that white space. Stick that down here. fine there. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Not sure yet what we're going to do with the rest of it, but let me go see what colors of Rick Rack I have. don't have any white but I do have red and green so those could those could work right and my Rick Rack's gonna have to be up a little higher because my doily's smaller I won't be able to catch my doily otherwise hope you've been able to see that whole time Okay, we're just going to give that a clip right about there. How about we do green on that one and red on this one or something. Does that show up enough? I don't feel like it does. Maybe we just do green on both. Of those papers because that shows up well against the red. Okay, okay. And then we'll do red on this one. Okay. Right. So get rid of those. Actually want to get rid of the signatures here for a minute and then I have to decide I think I'm gonna try this see what this looks like kind of want to give them as much of a Merry Christmas as I can I think I want to round the corners on the top like they did on this one too. Ooh, but we were going to use these as tucks, weren't we? So I actually want to go this way with that. Right? Right. Yep. Yeah. I'll just be sewing right down the middle of that, but I guess that's okay. Let's see. This has some cute little birds on it. Maybe this one would be cute. Kind of a 
a fun one too. Okay, and then maybe I'll try this piece of paper. It's just a another leftover piece of Christmas paper. Let's see how that does. A little different colors, but that's okay. Okay, and then put it right here. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let's see. It's kind of almost, I mean, it feels a little bit like a cluster to me, you know? Now, I could, could do a dot of glue to hold those down, but you know what? I just feel like going for it, so I'm just going to sew them. We'll just line them up as we go and sew them and see how we turn out. Okay. I'm going to do zigzag. Okay, so how are we? Good. Okay. Um, straighten that out a little bit. Straighten that out a little. Actually... that up to where I know I'm going to catch the um, doily in the in the sewing. Okay, I'm just going to set that down. You know what? I think I'm going to go with a straight stitch because then it's not going to mess up the words quite so much. Okay, here we go. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Get that right there. See what we got. Well, that's just kind of cute, isn't it? And it's not got any lace. It's not, a, well, I guess the this is a little frilly, but not bad. Okay, so let's sew the next one. I think for me, I like the straight stitch a little bit better on it just because. We've got stuff going on on our little circle that I kind of like to keep. Okay. Here we go. We're going for it. Come on. Go through. Going through a few thicknesses there. Wasn't necessarily making it happy. Okay, and then we'll do the last one. So, thank you whoever sent me that little piece of inspiration. If by chance you happen to be watching, let me know in the comments that that was you. straight okay okay 
Those were fun. Those were really fun. Have to remember that. Because really, you could embellish those as much as you wanted. And like I say, they just are kind of like a cluster, aren't they? Okay, so I'm just going to round the corners. Do a tiny bit of distressing on the edges too, on a bunch, just to tie it in with the other, with the little circle that we distressed. Oh my gosh, I think those are adorable. And again, a spot to tuck either pictures or whatever. So we'll figure out a spot to put those in the book. And then I bet you we're just about out of time for this segment. Okay. Let us see where we want to put those in the book. Okay, um, seeing all that is garbage, except for this guy is a scrap. Okay. Get all sorts of tidy while we're, <laughs> while we're doing this. Okay, grab the, these and Let's see where we'd like these and which one we'd like where. So, done a couple things in the front. Done the one pocket in the back. anything really on that because it's got that but I really like the lines to write on so I don't want to put anything over it and I've kind of made it so it's this side haven't I wonder if this is what we put on our echo dyed paper just for fun I think the Echo Tide paper is the winner. I think it is. I'm just going to do that one. Okay. Those are really fun and easy, right? And then I'm just going to glue the two sides so things can easily be slipped in and out. got plenty of glue. <laughs> Cute. Okay. So that is first signature. I'm going to lay it over here to dry. And let's see what we think here. So again, I kind of want to go back I think I'm wondering about this one because this and this sort of go together I 
I like it because it gives it some good stability too for the other side. I think we're going to do that right there. Ah, starting to get a little goopy here. Okay. All right. Get any glue seeping out there. Okay. So there's a spot there. I'll let that dry and then we'll see about this one. Kind of like making three journals in one, isn't it? Making one of this size. Kind of like that with the red from the other pages. Yep, I think I'm going to put that one there. Okay. Great. So we did belly bands and a couple tucks today. That was good in this in this little episode, if you will. I love these. I think these are really cute. Here's the inspiration. So leave me a comment and claim it if you if you gave me that. Okay. Cute. All right, so grab the other signatures. Where are we at? Yep, we're just about there. So got our belly band done. Still have these that I want to do something with. I think they they just need backing or something like maybe some of this card stock that I got at Hobby Lobby or something and just to frame it out a little bit. So need to do that. Tags in there probably. Love these. We need toppers for those yet. Little tuck. I have, again, little ones over here that just just need a little something, and then I'll attach them there. Hmm. Okay. You know, what else we need to do is I need to make some um, journaling cards out of some more pages of the book. something in it already. These little pockets, those will be good. And there's that tuck. And this flips out. I don't know, we might want to embellish this a little bit. Oh yeah, and I was going to put the cards on there. There's our little pocket and collage tag there. Okay, and this one. And I figure any of the, you know, tags and things that I put in this, she can take out if it's going to make it too bulky with the pictures because I think the pictures are her main, her main deal. So that's cute with that there. Yeah, I like that one. A lot. There's that little collage tag. No, what, what? Okay, so what I feel like I have left is I want to make 
some make some journaling tags out of the pictures in this book I want to want to sew in a fabric flip and possibly make some ruffles with these so maybe that's next episode that's we have going for that let's grab the um, cover for a quick second and just see how we're doing bulk wise oh we're still okay so that's good that's good yeah she's still got plenty of room to put pictures so so we're doing okay. I was feeling like I was getting it kind of bulked up, but I think we're doing fine. Okay, so there you go. There is another episode of this fun little Christmas journal. Thanks everybody for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.